and it's Ken Bezeda being chased by Purpre Boise, who seems to be going better. Ken Bezeda, a mistake. Purpre Boise, and now the favourites back in charge. It's You're the Boss who comes down the centre and picks it up. On the near side, Luda Sud is the danger. Over the last, Luda Sud jumps it together with You're the Boss. Chasing these ones now, Gibral Faro's getting into another gear. But on the near side, it's Luda Sud who has the lead. Over on the far side, You're the Boss trying to fight back. But Luda Sud with the rail to help begins to kick on and comes away. And it's Luda Sud who's won it to You're the Boss in second. And back in third was Gibral Faro. First up is the quiet man. That quintetta now well clear of Imbatable, followed then by Victorino, a gap in the field to Contra Ordra, and last of all, Equium de Arabal coming around the home turn. Leader, Traprain Law. On the far side is Leo de Sud. They were clear then of How Are You, followed then by the quiet man. Entering into the straight, they've got one left to go. Coming down, Le O de Sud goes through, takes a narrow lead from Traprain Law. In third, battling on the quiet man, along with also How Are You, but getting the upper hand inside the final 100 is Le O du Sud, and Le O du Sud goes on for a nice win by about four lengths. Second home has gone to the quiet man who kept boxing on. Traprain Law was third. Further and the flag goes down. They're off and racing. Strand went back. A field of nine to contest this three-year-old contest over 35, 50 metres. It is a hurdle. And it's for the Colts and Geldings in this race. We find that the early leader on the inside of the all-white is Invictus Smart as they go over the first jump. Also well away was Cormi Dino. And we was, lost one back through the field, Leo de Sud. So Leo de Sud has lost the rider. And as they... Head along towards the uh, next turn. Devil, that's the leading six or seven and running on behind those impressive Mashan. But Kenda Beseda has now gone four, four or five lengths clear. Will probably jump out to the right, has done so throughout and does so again there, but not losing too much ground. And Ken Beseda is out in front by about seven or eight lengths. Down towards the last, it's Ken Beseda. Seems to have the race in safekeeping or maybe not. That was a strong right-handed jump once again, but still leading by three lengths, bearing down his impressive Machan over on the far side, Lotus Sud, but it's still Ken Bezeda who leads the way. Lotus Sud is back into second position, but it's Ken Bezeda driven out, winning it by about three lengths to Lotus Sud in second. And back in third, impressive Machan. Those were well clear of the others. The other one at Sands Gelson, all gorgeous grey. This is <clears throat> ran disappointingly last time, but when they had a look, was the wine they pulled out and they found their ulcers. They've treated those, been working really well since ulcers um, sometimes get across the stomach. So Dude, as you say, I mean, he was fairly well fancied first time out in the Greatwood for this team this season and was ultimately disappointing when pulling up. But and that, a different horse today. I'm sure they'll be very happy with that, maybe back to the county. Um, but uh, look, Iberico Lord, Nico de Bourneville, I, I, the more we watch this replay, I think the more we're going to be impressed. And um, he's won fairly snug, I'd say, in the end. The key was the distance from the line to the last. I've never seen it as far as back as that. New was nearly two furlongs, and Nico knew that. And I think he, he almost planned his challenge all the way. And you can see at this stage, it's that, it's that lovely warm feeling that you get when you know you're going to win a big race.